and bring on our good friend uh, Jason Michaels, uh, the magician, the illusionist, the guy who blows our mind every week. Jason, how are you, buddy? Good morning. Uh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm glad to be here. How are so, you? Johnny Cash. Johnny, <laughs> am I, do I, I'm, I'm the man in black. <laughs> you got that deep voice. I dressed, I dressed up for you today. <laughs> Thanks, man. How was the show last week downtown? Oh my gosh, we had a great show. We were uh, like two seats from being completely sold out. Uh, really excited audience. It's really interesting because when I started this show, honestly, I thought this show was going to appeal mostly to um, like locals. I was like, oh, I want to give locals something different to do. I want to give Nashvilleians, people who have seen it all and done it all, I want to give them something that is a little bit uh, outside the box. What's cool about it is that um, we're getting a, a really great mix of both uh, locals who come to see the show because they're hearing about it. But then people from out of town, you know, we what's I mean, you know, you have been wonderful about looking at our reviews and we get really good reviews on things like Google and um, TripAdvisor and stuff like that. And so folks coming from outside of town are saying, hey, this looks like it's something fun. And so you know, I'm just loving the fact that people are into magic now. You know, there's shows like uh, America's Got Talent. There's shows like Penn and Teller Foolish. They've made magic popular and may help people understand that really good magic is actually fun to watch. So, you know, I'm just loving it. Yeah. I, and of course, again, I, we say every week you come on here and we tell everybody, you know, the greatest word of mouth is word of mouth. That's the greatest advertisement you can get from people than Absolutely. reading your reviews, man. That's simply fantastic for you. All right. So do we have a show this weekend? I do. I have a show this weekend. And uh, yeah. And so, you know, we, we still have tickets available. Um, and yeah, I would, I would love for, for anybody who, anybody who sees what I do on here and we've been doing this now for a number of months and just having fun. And if you think to yourself, wow, you know, wow, I wonder if he can do that stuff right in front of me, because that is the thing that people wonder. People wonder. And I mean, I've talked to people and I know this because they tell me, they say, I've seen you do stuff online. I've seen you do stuff on television. And I always wondered if I would be able to figure it out when I'm there. And that is ultimately, I guess, the, the the test. That is ultimately the test. Is it is it good when you're sitting there in the seats and you're in the same room? And so, yeah, yeah. yeah you bet. All right, there's a screen up right there. Evening of mysteries and illusions. We'll get more into that at the end there uh, of the segment. But let's uh, let's do what we always do with you, man. Let's talk about and show how you can blow our mind again this week. All right, cool. I've got a deck of cards here, and I thought I'm sure you've heard the phrase, uh, you know be careful who you play cards with or never play cards with a stranger. Uh, because, and the reason being uh, because the stranger, you never know if that mysterious stranger at the poker table has some unique set of skills right. uh, that might <laughs> empty your wallet. Uh, that is what you have to be careful I of. An, I call that an ex-wife, but go ahead. <laughs> okay. Does she play poker? <laughs> I guess, yes. All right, I'm going to give the cards uh, uh, a few mixes. Okay. I'm just going to give them some shuffles, and then I'm going to see if I can. I'm going to show you. I've been honing these skills of what people call card manipulation. Some people call card cheating. Uh, through a series of shuffles, I was able to locate all four huh? of the aces. Now, okay, let's continue. Let's continue because okay. people see this type of thing and they think to themselves, Ooh, that's, maybe I should be careful who I play cards with. So we're going to continue this. I'm going to take the aces, all four of them together. I'm going to cut them, give them a series of cuts, cut them right into the pack. And I will even go so far as to give them just one, not a series, but just one really good shuffle. And then... Okay. Through a series of cuts, that's one, two, three, and that's a little bit fancy. I was able to find one of the aces. <laughs> Let's see if I can find a second ace going like this. There is the, up. Oh, there's the second <laughs> ace. Uh, this okay, one on, <laughs> might, yes, this one might, in fact, be the third ace. And uh, yeah. one last one, and this one will do something just a little bit fancy, a series of cuts, which you would never do at the card <laughs> table. You would never... You would never say, hey, fellas, watch this. But, 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 but uh, if we still have a second, I'm gonna sh I'll show you one more cool Take thing. Take time, man. We got all the time in the world for okay, this. Okay, check this out. This is really interesting because what I just shared with you is a series of um, sort of card manipulation, being able to 
uh, handle the cards in a way so that I can control the four aces to where that I want them. But now I'm going to show you a little bit of card magic. And I'm just going to take some uh, some cards from the pack. I'm going to lay them down. Now, obviously, we have the aces isolated over here. But I'm taking just some random cards and laying them into these stacks right here. And then uh, each of the aces is going to guard each of these stacks. So each ace including uh, the big one with the big giant picture there, uh, <laughs> has three cards underneath it that it is guarding. And here's what I'm going to do. It's a very simple, very okay. straightforward. We take the Ace of Clubs. Watch close. All I have to do is set it down. And then just like so, we have the other three cards. And watch. I will not cover the card up, but I am going to go like this and spin it out of the deck. And then that Ace literally vanishes. It is gone. <laughs> That the first one is gone, and now we'll see the other two, and we'll do the other two at the same time. There's the first ace, the ace of hearts. Here's the second ace, the ace of diamonds. Again, watch close. I will not touch the leader ace. All okay. I have to do is, all right, still they're still right there. Yeah, they all I do is touch the cards together, and that is when the other aces <laughs> vanish completely. And if you remember, I set three cards underneath this card, and now those three cards are, in fact, all... Three. Oh, come on. Aces. I know, right? That's a little card magic for you. I thought a little card manipulation, a little card magic, get you started with a smile. A, a smile. I mean, I a smile and consternation and disbelief <laughs> and every, every adjective you could throw in there to do all that. I, I Again, what would magicians be without a deck of cards? Well, I mean, you know, that is how I started. I mean, it was literally my friends and I, and this was in high school, we we would play poker for spare change, literally nickels, dimes, and quarters. And it was, I just thought it would be fun to learn a card trick. And learning that one card trick uh, that I performed when we would take a little break and everybody was like, oh, that was fun. That was cool. Do you, do you know any more? <laughs> that led me to 30 years of learning card tricks. I can't get away from them. And I still, I still study this stuff I, and, and I still love it. But You know what's funny, Jason, is the fact that I, I know I remember one time when David Copperfield made the Statue of Liberty disappear and all that other yeah. stuff. To yeah. me, that is next level whatever but when i can see you do this in front of my face yeah on the screen i'm trying to figure it out to me i'm more mesmerized by that than i am by copperfield whatever he does it's crazy. well you know what's great about this is that i always tell people i can do this exact same thing if you're sitting right here if you're literally right in front of me I can do this right here and like you can you're literally directly involved and so i think that ultimately why i fell in love with magic because when I, when magic when i wasn't doing card tricks and i saw a real magician not just somebody who had learned a few card tricks out of a book like at the bookstore but i saw a real magician this magician performed like right there like he was handing me things and he was saying here do this and, and i was participating and and I had never seen anything like it. it. I just remember, I remember being 16 years old and thinking two things. I thought, why have I never seen anything like this before? And the second thing I thought was, I have to share this with other people because it was like the single coolest thing I had ever seen in my life. And I thought, if I haven't seen this, how many other people haven't seen this before? I have to share this feeling of amazement and fun with people. How, tip, how long typically is your show on a Saturday night? About 85 minutes. It runs between 80 and 85 minutes. I mean, it's a full show. We don't do an intermission. Uh, so I try to keep it 90 minutes or less. Uh, but it, it feels it feels fast. It feels like, you know, you sit down and then all of a sudden you're like, wow, how did that time pass so quickly? That's amazing. Do you have, uh, are, I know we get the different camera angles you do there. Is it all just in front? Do you have different camera angles or is it just all... Uh, like so, I mean, be right there. yeah, yeah. No, what I do in uh in my show, it, you know, we only see thirty people, and so I designed a show that I could perform like uh in like it were it, you know years and years ago in the eighteen hundreds they had what were called parlors. You know, people right. like high society people would invite their friends and other high society people over to their big homes with their quote unquote parlors, and they would hire a magician to come in and entertain the group. And so that was kind of the inspiration for this show. So everything happens right in front of you. You know, you're sitting right there just a few feet away. You get to participate. You get to come up and be involved if you want to. And so I don't use any cameras or anything like that. It's just all right in front of you, right in that moment. Fantastic. Again, this Saturday, just find online, mysteriesandillusions.com. Is that the website? That's the one. 
Jason, man, you're you're the best. Simply the best each week. I mean, that simple card trick right there, I'll be thinking about for the next two days, man. I love it. All right. Thank you, brother. We'll see you next week. Thank you. All Take right, care. Jason Michaels. Uh, go back on our YouTube channel and see some of the tricks he's done. It's been quite uh, impressive as we sit here and watch that and analyze every single thing that he does. And we walk away like, my goodness, what in the world's going on? Thank you.